Hello, this is me, Ayman Yasin. Welcome again to my second episode. In this episode, we will continue solving past paper 2, multiple choice, February, March 2016. Yesterday, we have arrived uh, question number 10. In this episode, we will continue from question number 11 to uh, 20. Okay, in uh, question 11, here we have which reaction doesn't occur in the extraction of aluminium? Here, not occur. That means doesn't exist. Which reaction? Here you have aluminium. In the aluminium, we have extracted aluminium from aluminium oxide. By oxidation and reduction reaction here, the ox oxide, it will be oxidized into oxygen and the aluminium it will be reduced to aluminium as a metal so this one we have it this one also we have it and here you know in the extraction of aluminium we are using electrodes and these electrodes are made from graphite which is carbon so some of the oxygen which is produced may react with carbon to produce carbon dioxide so also this one we have it but this reaction which is directly aluminium oxide to be reduced to the aluminium or carbon dioxide we don't have it so this best answer in the question 12 In the question 12 we have which substance couldn't be used as a fuel to heat water in a boiler now organic compounds are a fuel hydrogen which is also fuel according to this equation hydrogen here you will have h2o with half mole of oxygen it's rock to fuel hydrogen so this one also correct and oxygen actually it's not a fuel uh, it's used to combust the fuel but actually it's uh, not a fuel so the best answer is D here we have Uchiro describes an endothermic. In the endothermic reaction, always the amount of energy which is needed to break the bonds of reactant should be uh, more, or let's say high value, and the amount of energy which is produced. Uh, by forming new bonds in the product should be low so could be A or C but you know the temperature of endothermic always endo endo the temperature endo and temperature should be decreased so the best answer is A in the question 14 let's uh, raise this part okay here we have in the question 14 a reversible reaction is shown 2 mole of nitrogen dioxide equilibrium reaction here we have reversible and uh, reversible reaction produced one mole of uh, dinitrogen tetroxide and the reaction is exothermic which statement 
about an equilibrium mixture of NO2 and N2O4 is correct. If the pressure is decreased, the amount of N2O increase. Here, pressure, it's related with the number of moles of the reactant and product. Here you have two mole and here you have one mole. So, if you decrease the pressure, that means the reaction should be shifted to the uh, backward, uh, backward reaction. It will be shifted to the produce more of NO2. So, this is, is correct. It's not correct. If the temperature is increased, the amount of N2O4 increases. Here you have exothermic and you want to make the reaction forward. So, in this case, you don't need to increase the temperature, but here the temperature is increased and N2O4 increase. So, this is incorrect statement. The rate of formation. The rate of formation uh, and decomposition of N2O4 aren't the same. This is totally wrong. Why? Because the reaction is an equilibrium reaction. So, the last uh, statement, which is the decomposition of N2O4 is an endothermic. Why? Because always the, endother the decomposition is endothermic. And also, you can see the forward reaction is exo, so the backward should be endo. So, the best answer is D. In the question 15, which statement about catalyst in chemical reaction is not correct? Here, it's not correct. It's not. It's not correct. So, catalysts aren't used up in the reaction. Yes. They aren't used, they haven't changed. Catalysts increase their energy of the reacting particles. Now, actually, uh, they only increase the energy of the reactant particles. This is totally wrong. And catalysts increase the rate of reaction. Yes, it's correct. And catalysts lower the activation energy. Also, is correct. And he's asking about the not correct, so the not correct one is B. In the question 16 here, zinc is extracted from zinc blend, which is the O of zinc and sulfur in the same time, by roasting it, that means combustion reaction, in air to form zinc oxide. The zinc oxide is heated with carbon to form zinc according to this equation. Here, zinc sulfide is oxidized to the zinc oxide and sulfur uh, dioxide. And then zinc oxide is reduced by carbon to form zinc as a metal and carbon monoxide. Here we have which a statement about the reaction 1 and 2 is not correct. In reaction 1, here it's again it's not correct. In the reaction one, the oxidation state of sulfur increases as it's oxidized. Yes, here the zinc sulfide it's the sulfur it's negative two. And here in the SO2, look let's let's explain it here. Zinc here it's negative two, this one positive two. It's converted into SO2. I'm talking about sulfur oxidation state, SO2. Here, oxygen is negative 2. You have two oxygen atoms here. That means you have negative 4. That means here you have sulfur positive 4. So the oxidation state is increased from negative 2 to positive 4 by uh, removing uh, 6 electrons. Here you have removed 6 electrons. So this uh, statement is correct. In reaction 1, the oxidation state of zinc increases as it's oxidized. Here we have, uh, let me explain this one here. 
zinc sulfide negative two we said and this one positive two it's converted into zinc oxide this is again negative two and this one it's positive two that means here the oxidation state in the reaction one oxidation state of zinc increases and it's oxidized actually it's it doesn't change so this is the not correct option and uh, both of the C and D options are correct because in the reaction to the carbon acts as reducing agent and it's oxidized it was zero it converted into positive two it's oxidation and in the reaction to the oxidation state, uh, state of zinc decreases as it's reduced yes correct here in the zinc oxide it's positive two it's converted into zero so the best answer is B here in the question 17 the diagram shows an energy level diagram for a reaction here we have reactant and here we have product and this one it's activation energy the diagram shows that the reaction is one so always when reactant the level energy of reactant higher than the product so this one it's very clear it's exothermic this is the delta H between the reactant and product which is delta H is exothermic always delta H negative so exothermic could be C or D increasing the temperature increase the rate of reaction how a reason for this uh, is that the activation energy decreases actually the activation energy decreases if you will add only catalyst and here we don't have a catalyst so increasing of the rate of uh, uh, sorry the increasing the uh, temperature the uh, collusion rate increases so the best answer is D concentrated hydrochloric acid is a strong acid what's meant by the teams strong and acid strong that means it's fully ionized fully ionized that means when uh, fully ionized that means the reaction is only forward reaction it's not this one for strong and if you have weak acid that means you will have reversible reaction with water so this one for weak so could be C and D according to uh, Bronsted Lorry the acid which is donates protons donates proton how? By giving an, uh, an hydrogen ion. So, according to this HCl plus H2O, you will have H. Uh, one minute, please. Here. You will have Cl negative plus H3O plus. That means this plus is donated to the H2O. So why is donated? Because it's acid. It's donated to the H2O, so it's acid. And how the reaction with water? It's fully ionized. One direction. Forward reaction. So the correct answer is fully ionized and donate protons. Donate protons, that means it's acid. And fully ionized, that means it's wrong. In the question 19, which it takes only a few seconds, amphoteric oxide, clearly it's aluminum oxide. And the last question, which is uh, salt, is made by adding an excess of an insoluble metal oxide to an acid. So here we have a beaker, it's full with acid 
and we are going to add metal oxide in excess why to make sure all the acid will be reacted so at the end you will have some of metal oxide at the bottom of the beaker how is this excess metal oxide removed from the mixture? So you have something insoluble in a water. So it's clearly that means you need to filter it out. So filtering it, that means you are going to do filtration because distillation, it's converting or it's a technique, fil distillation, it's a technique to separate uh, a mixture of liquids they have different boiling point crystallization here it's uh, it's not the uh, crystallization just you need to reduce the amount of water and uh, keep the solution uh, in a uh, uh, what's the, the name of this apparatus which is a uh, glass watch uh, to have a uh, crystals and chromatography uh, yesterday we have talked about it in the questions uh, in the first questions which is used to separate a mixture of liquids or something it's dissolved in a, in a solvent they have different solubility so the best answer actually it's filtration Thank you for listening and uh, see you in the next episode to solve the rest of the questions uh, from 21 to the end of this past paper. So thank you for listening.